Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, I was just sitting and pondering, mashallah, the sun is out today and it's a really beautiful day, a little bit warm, but you know, uh, warm for us in Zimbabwe, but generally it's very cool weather. You can see the wind blowing, mashallah, tabarakallah. What I wanted to say is I was pondering over the events that have occurred in the recent weeks and it's really very, very uh, difficult to, you know, sometimes to actually understand the plan of the Almighty. But we have conviction and we know that the Almighty will definitely uh, uh, bless every one of us and those affected will also be definitely receiving some form of goodness from Allah Almighty. But something that stood out really, really loudly uh those who were saved just by a fraction a fraction reminded me of the hadith of the prophet sallallahu where he says what got to you was never meant to miss you and what missed you was never ever meant to get to you ma asabaka lam yakul li yukhti'ak wa ma akhta'aka lam yakul li yusibak what missed you what got to you was never meant to miss you and what missed you was never ever meant to get to you i'm gonna give you a few examples number one the brother two brothers actually who didn't catch the flight ethiopian airlines 301 they missed it even though they tried hard to catch it it wasn't their time one brother had a boarding pass. He actually got to the gate a fraction after they had closed the gate. They refused him in. He tried very hard. I'm sure I can imagine what scene he must have made. But subhanallah, the Almighty didn't want him to go. That which missed you was never ever meant to get to you. Amazing. So just thank the Almighty when things go wrong according to you. They have gone right according to the Almighty. I've always said that say Alhamdulillah, which means praise be to Allah when things go your way. Because it means the Almighty wanted them to go that way. So he allowed it. So praise him. And say Alhamdulillah twice when they don't go your way because they've gone the way the Almighty wanted them to go, which is better than your way. So you say Alhamdulillah twice. Another brother who missed that flight, another brother missed the flight completely. And he was found later on by his relatives. He arrived in Kenya some time later. And there was a picture of him with a, with a trolley. May Allah bless them and all of, all of those who, uh, who's loved ones have perished there as well may Allah grant them ease so it's just amazing how these people were saved but I'm sure at the time they were really upset that happens to us in life every other day when things don't go the way we want them to go we get so upset we get we sometimes get so angry we become we become violent sometimes meaning banging things and getting upset we question the Almighty he knows it's the best thing that could have ever happened for you and to you okay i now give you another example let's look at christchurch may allah grant them jannatul firdaus those who've lost their lives look at the cricket team that came in a little bit later and they were saved if they had come in a little bit earlier they would have lost their lives take a look at how the almighty made you know how the almighty actually made this guy come at a time that was 15 minutes 15 minutes early had he come a little bit later it would have been the peak of the Jumu'ah. Ah. everyone would have been there and it would have been worse subhanallah so this is the almighty and this is him i'm sure there were people who planned to go to the masjid that day and didn't make it I'm sure there were people who wanted to get there and didn't make it. When you don't make it, when you miss your plane, when you actually, uh, when things don't go your way, thank the Almighty and just praise Allah. You don't know why He kept you. It's happened to me sometimes where I've missed, uh, you know, appointments uh, and I've had to change things. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, a lot has happened. And you know, sometimes 
the Almighty wants you to change things based on cancellations and based on other factors uh, because He wants you to meet someone, because maybe He wants you to see something, maybe He wants you to actually uh, pass through some place, maybe He wants you to learn a lesson from something, whatever it might be. But that's a powerful lesson. You know, sometimes you get denied entry into a certain country, visa denied, sometimes they ban you from a place. It's the biggest blessing of the Almighty. It's not something that the Almighty didn't plan for you. Don't be upset. Be happy. Be excited about it. Thank those who denied you because they have saved you from something you never would understand. And you know what? The loss is obviously theirs. We are never in a lose situation. We're in a win-win situation. We're believers. We win. We win everything. That's what happens. We're always smiling. We're always looking at the positives until the day we die. And we will definitely be in a much better place in the mercy of the Almighty. Wow. Subhanallah. Amin. May Allah grant that to us. So this was a hadith I thought I'd share with you. Don't worry. If you're denied a visa to go somewhere, it's a blessing. Perhaps you were saved from being killed. Perhaps you were saved from being falsely accused of whatever you might be. Perhaps you were saved from something that was disastrous, whatever it may be. If you, for example, were denied something, you were late for something, uh, uh, you know, you had a little accident, we always say things could have been worse. So just thank the Almighty. Uh, you know, I, I really pray at the end of this video for my brothers and sisters here in my country in Zimbabwe. There are a lot of campaigns that have been started to help them. Trust me, Mozambique has suffered in the way, in a way they haven't suffered in our in living memory. Beira, which is one of the one of the big cities in Mozambique, has been destroyed almost almost 90 percent. Affected, should I say, lives have been lost. People's entire livelihood has been totally lost. You know, whatever they had gone gone. Please reach out to charities of your, uh, you know, your choice. Those you whom you trust, and and those who are working in Mozambique, Zimbabwe, those who are working in. Uh, Malawi, etc. Please try and help them and just ensure a follow up, inshallah, to make sure that your help is getting to the right people. And it's really something that we need. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for them. Once again, when things happen not according to what you wanted, thank Allah twice. Thank Allah double because He knows He's saving you from something, something big. And he really, you may or may not know it in your life. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. You, you didn't get, make a job. Uh, I give you one more example. Uh, a person who didn't get a job and he didn't get another job and a third job and a fourth job and he's really stressed or he didn't manage to secure a house to rent or whatever else or a car he really wanted. The day he gets the, the, the job and the day he actually gets the house or whatever he wanted, it will be way better than what he was planning for. So the Almighty closes four little doors in order to open a fifth massive door. I've said this before, but the problem is we give up. When we give up, nah, that's when everything comes crumbling. Same applies to marriage. Look at how many examples. One marriage, two marriages, three marriages. You could be divorced as many times as you, as many times, uh, you know, uh, as you did or as it would, as, as it would be. But to be honest, my brother, uh, my brothers and sisters, it's not something evil. It, a person who's divorced is not an evil person. A person who's been through that which is, uh, you know, a, a, a breakup of a relationship is not an evil person. Uh, sometimes, and a lot of the times, it's a blessing of the, uh, from the Almighty. You came out of a situation that was really bad. And this is why those who hold back their, their spouses and they don't want to divorce them when they know the relationship is broken beyond repair, they need to understand the Almighty will obviously release you from the catch of evil when you release yourself from that catch by not oppressing others. Uh, my little ones are actually calling me for a cup of tea, so I'll be going, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.